Welcome back to the channel, fellers. This week, we're a little bit all over the place. It's not any different than any other week, but somebody special with me and Will hanging out today. Uh, this is my lovely wife, Sarah. I know you guys have met her uh, briefly in a couple other videos, but she's gonna be with us today. We're, we're talking about making some changes. We got a lot of work hitting into summer. We need to make sure we're making the appropriate need for the guys out in the field. Basically, a little bit more about employee structure. We wanna make sure that we get out here with these guys watch I want her to be able to see exactly what each man is doing what's their role what's their responsibilities and make a better educated justified guess from there you know really in business as me and Sarah found out almost going on eight years it's a lot of trial and error so you have to you can't just stand in the middle of the road you got to make a decision hey we're gonna try this route if this doesn't work yes it's going to affect us let's try this essentially gathering a little bit of information good field trip day for Sarah she hasn't been out to the field in a long time yeah. um, we're gonna be talking about second street we're gonna be talking a little bit more about poopy pot. In the last video, we didn't talk a whole lot about poopy pot, but we are on some sewer jobs. We're going deep. We got lots of objectives to go around, variables coming at us. So other than that, stay tuned. Check us out. We got a manhole. You got pipe going down flow. We had a little bit of a situation here. We already had a previous manhole poured on site, obviously in this hole and uh, inspector didn't quite like everything about said manhole. Manhole had to come out, and that's just part of the game sometimes. You, we're, we're out here providing customer service and quality, and if our quality's not up to whatever spec or par that's put in front of us, we gotta redo it. That's who we are. We yank it out, let's get it back in. We're gonna re-pour on Thursday here, but when you do that, of course, you've gotta over dig a little bit to get back into that manhole and get it out. So. In this case, we're actually gonna be about two and a half foot lower than the flow line of where that sewer actually flows. And we're gonna have to bring that up to eight inches within that flow line mark. Essentially, we're gonna do that with base, base rock, roll it and pack it down in there at eight inches, eight inches, eight inches until we're back up to that eight inch minimum to the flow line. Uh, from there, poor manhole here. we will show you what it's supposed to look like down here. All right, guys, so this is actually what a manhole's supposed to look like. Um, we've got a coming out to catch the house behind me. This is our main pipe uh, coming in, protruding from the ditch that's all graveled here. Basically, there'll be a four foot diameter manhole, concrete cast in place, ringed out all the way up to the road level, and we'll catch their poop. It'll hit that line right there, run all the way where we were just talking to into another manhole, disperse down line and keep trucking until it hits the plant. So manholes can be a little bit of a challenge to deal with sometimes, as you guys just noticed, but Having the proper guys and the proper equipment to get it done helps a lot. You guys have been watching us lay water for a couple of weeks, obviously, on both ends of the county. You got gravit out there in 2nd Street here. The water line is literally directly underneath my feet. We, there was existing gas main, old existing gas main, water main, ex existing sewer main. There's five or six main lines in this road. It was a challenge with the city of Rogers to figure out exactly where to put this thing. So we worked with them hand in hand and we figured out the curb line was obviously going to be the best put place for efficiency and everything. So we ripped out the entire curb, placed it right below it and put her in service. So I'm standing in from where these, where these guys are heading down there. They're going to be heading directly down this pink marked line. They have figured out the center mark of where they're sewer line is going to be marked either side for how big the bucket they'll be digging in the trench box. Anytime cutting just showed up to go ahead and rip that saw blade right down the middle of this road so we can get below that asphalt and get it ripped out. But this is where they're going to be ending with sewer. The sewer will come uphill, catch another manhole in a box up there and come straight down here and dead end here. And that will be our main line trunks for both Pine and Second Street right here. So like I was saying earlier, manhole's gonna start here, where we ended up back there. Ishmael's trying to find something down there. He's found everything else in the road. These guys haven't hit a whole lot of anything. There's a line right there. You can see another line on the other side of their shovel. We somehow gotta put a manhole in the middle of all this. So there she is. There she is. That's Clay. Don't let him hit it. He said it's clay. If it's clay, it'll be a matter. It'll be.
What I tell you? <laughs> Shoot. One of them numbers. One of them numbers. <laughs> All right, fellers. So, showing Sarah a little bit about being out here in the field and working around sewer and the depth of it. And we're at Northwest Park now. Obviously, you guys just saw Second Street, but we've got a hole full of water right here. We're actually, uh, as you guys saw in the last video, we're gonna be going out here into this existing road. It's a main collector north and south road here in Rogers. We're gonna be hitting that manhole right out. I don't have to look at the camera. We're be hitting that manhole right out there. It's about 15 foot deep in the middle of that road. That is going to, basically the road's gonna get shut down on the 31st. We're gonna bring a track hoe in here, get that dug up and move our way into this manhole. From there, we've taken off and gone this way. Is this a manhole that we have to pour? Yes, that is a manhole we have to pour. Great question. Thanks. Hey, I do have another question. Okay, like what other question say. you got? What are these two, okay, what are these two pipes that are coming in here and why does this one have a smaller pipe coming It off looks of it? to be an old conduit with a fiber in it and then it looks like their coupling didn't hold together and their fiber's just running through it. Okay. I think. Got it. The one thing about job sites that you really just never know, you can deal with crappy material, you can deal with just about anything, but groundwater is a terrible issue to deal with. And this job site just happens to be very prevalent with it. Manhole we poured yesterday, cast in place manhole, like I keep saying, a lot of the places in this country, um, they just do precast manholes, so we're, we're kind of a little bit different. We form it up directly from the bottom all the way to the top. This is a sh little shorty. We're changing direction, coming from just back where we're talking, changing direction, making a quick short jog over and getting around this tree. And then the guys are taking off straight as an arrow right towards a job trailer and sitting a manhole. Oh, uh, I think it's like three, 350 down that way. But yep, manhole, anytime sewer changes direction, anytime it ever changes direction, has to have a manhole. A pipe coming out of here, right? Mm -hmm. To be able to form the manhole. Yep. But it's not in that hole over there. So but it is. Only, okay, but it's but it's covered. With water. The water level's just, the groundwater's okay, just increased okay. enough that it's just covering the pipe. It's got, got it. a good plug in it. It's braced from top to bottom. It will not move. Got it. Okay. Yep. I just didn't see that You over remember there, the manhole so we just saw out at uh, Second Street with the T-posts and the bracing and the yes. tracer wire around yep. the pipe and the service was coming out? Mm -hmm. Same thing right there in the exact location that they wanted it's it set. It's just underwater. Yes, ma'am. One of the most essential tools of a utility man's truck is his pump. His brand, this is a brand new Predator here. This, she's real nice, get her Harbor Freight. We use the crap out of. Anyways, groundwater again. Basically, we had our big pump rigged up, ready to go for them to mitigate the water, get it down where they can, you know, basically get in there and work. Our four inch pump took a crap. Two inch pump, he got out, took a crap. So we had to go get a two inch pump real quick, fast and in a hurry so we could get these manholes down. But man, this crew, seriously, if you guys look right through here, directly where that line's going, you see the green flag they're heading to. They've got a pretty intricate situation on the other side of that bucket where they're coming underneath this 42 inch storm drain that's kicking out right here. So we're gonna go take a look at that. But man, they are rocking and rolling and they're, they're slaying it here. I couldn't, even with the groundwater, the crappy soil, and they're just right crew, right machines, man, they can just go. You got hydraulic shoring, bracing basically down the side of this ditch to keep, this is a 42 inch RCP line. RCP stands for round concrete pipe. Nothing super rocket science about that. 42 inch RCP obviously carries some weight. They come in six to eight foot sections. We've got to, with our sanitary sewer, that we're pretty deep on through this section, we slide right underneath that storm drain, carrying 18 inches of minimum separation. But in order to effectively do that, we had to shut down, get with our general superintendent and go, we've ran into this situation. It's going to be unsafe. We'd love to bring you guys to be a part of this and make sure you guys feel comfortable about it. And so do we. So they've come up with this solution of, we can use a piece of ductile. This is a piece of eight inch ductile iron pipe. Weighs about 600 pounds. And we've strapped it, the thrust of it upwards, bank and all the way to some sandbags on the other side, evened it up. And this was per, uh, the safety manager of the general superintendent, so we didn't necessarily have to make the call of what we feel is safe. They have deemed this safe, so we can keep working no matter what. Obviously, we've got some material that needs to be excavated underneath the, the rest of that pipe. 
trench box goes in, keep the bodies in the box, and get in and out of there as quick as we can. In or out? Always in, babe. <laughs> All right, guys, made it here to the airport. It's been a minute since I've been here. I think this is Sarah's first time here. Yep. And it's it's really cool looking. Like everything where we're standing used to be that level. And it, I mean, they have really covered an area and they're really starting to move some earth out of here. Just to get down to the level where we need to get down, keep the dinguses off the sidewalk. We had one guy pull in the sidewalk because we were parked in the yeah. wrong area. Anyway, but no, we got Sam up here on the 360. Um, the dozer made it out here, our old Jesse girl. Mm -hmm. She made it out here and basically they're making cuts and cleaning this up and pushing everything to the traco. We're gonna have to cut How many loads have we hauled out? Of here um, so far. We were at 497 on Monday. And we hauled 67 out yesterday. And you can tell we, we got one, two, three. We just watched two leave, so we're talking. I think we have 12 trucks running today. today. Yep. There was only six with our two. That's obviously eight. So hopefully we get a little bit better production out today. We're finding, I made some calls first thing this morning trying to find out a few closer dump spots. They have been trucking about an hour turnaround and it's killing us. So Sam's been doing a great job here. Bill's been helping out here. Everybody, this has been kind of a collective effort, but um, as soon as this dirt's gone, we're gonna start working on what's underneath. Ready to show you all that. Cha so it's is just cool all to see. of this that we're standing on right now, does this all have to be Yes, ma'am. To grade of what's down there? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Yep. And this is only the first neighborhood. The first neighborhood, you see this tree right there? Yep. I would, this runs 375 foot long. This way? Yep. 375 this way, 300 this way, about 20, good God, Sam, 18, 19 foot tall average through here and as, as you can tell we're on the top and then there's even more of a pile on top that they've been pushing we need a big dozer here just pushing sam's thought process is keep the machine sitting where it's sitting keep these guys turning and burning and push this crap to the traco yeah well that works great but we're gonna have to bring the trucks to the traco and just make a solid cut line through here and just Pick your line right there and just make a cut across and then cut across and then cut across. I'm working up onto that level. I don't know. We're gonna have to figure this out. But there is a crap ton of earth here. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, as you can see, Northwest Park's rolling really well. Them guys got that thing way under control. Second Street coming on with the sewer and the poopy pipe rocking and rolling. I hope you guys enjoyed as much as I did having Sarah along with us. That was really cool for me today. I mean, me and Sarah don't get to do that much. Uh, we haven't done this in probably a year and a half, two years really. I mean, we've just been growing and things going so fast. She needs to be where she's at. I need to be where I'm at all the time. And it was so nice to just watch her reaction today and watch the guy's reaction, her getting out of the truck and thinking it was just boss man. So that was super, super cool. Smash that like button. Drop a subscribe, smash that like button, hit that subscribe button, and drop comment. Uh, just do, let's do a simple Sycon, S Y dash C O N, just like our, just like our name above. You, the subscribe button should be like right in here. Other than that, um, guys, I hope you're loving the content. We've got some really really cool content coming. Family days coming. Um, that is going to be a massive give back to our employees. Will's going to be here for all of that. The, the incoming of machines and outgoing. This is going to be a massive process. So make sure you're subscribed. Drop that comment aside, Con. After this, we're probably going to pull some names of everybody who's 
um, if you've dropped a comment like we've asked before and try and give back to you guys and some of you subscribers. So as long as you're subscribed, drop a comment, hit a like on a video, got a hat coming your way, make sure you're dropping it. Other than that guys, we'll see you on the next one. Be safe.